hello welcome back this is the second video in the playlist if you are seeing this for the first time please can you go to my youtube channel and look for igcse mathematics paper 32 may june 2024 the first video is there so question two simplify 5a minus 6a plus 3a so this is just uh, a mark you don't need to disturb yourself so you can uh, input this into your calculator that is 5 minus 6 plus 3 so that will give you 2 then you can just add a to it and that will be 2a that will be 2a so otherwise you can alternatively you could say 5a minus 6a so that will be minus 1a then minus 1a plus 3a that will be uh, plus 2a so roman figure 2 6 x squared minus 6 x minus 4 x squared minus x so you have to combine this and this together so that will be 6 x squared minus 4 x squared then you place minus 6 x beside minus x so if you simplify this so this will give you 2 x squared then minus 6 x minus 1 x okay so this will be minus 7x. So the answer is 2x squared and minus 7x. So part B, find the value of c squared plus d squared when c equals to 7 and d is equals to negative 5. So that will be 7 squared then plus open brackets minus 5 squared. So this would be 49 add 25 so this would be equals to 74 so you have 74 as our final answer part c the time t in minutes to cook a chicken with a mass of m kilogram is given as this make m the subject of the formula so what you need to do is to uh, bring 20 to the left hand side so that will be t minus 20 equals to 35 m and to make m the subject of the formula we divide both sides by 35 okay so you have uh this we go so we have m to be equals to t minus 20 over 35 so m will be equals to t minus 20 everything over 35 See Roman figure 2, find the mass of a chicken that takes 83 minutes to cook. Okay, since we have made M um, the subject of the formula, so just substitute 83 minutes into uh, this. So that will be 83 minus 20, everything over 35. Okay. So if you input this into your calculator, you should get the value of M to be equals to 1.8 kilogram. So I have 1.8. Question 2D, solve these simultaneous equations. You must show how you're working. There are several methods you could use, but I'll use elimination method as it's easier and faster. So you have equation one and equation two. So for you to use elimination method, so the coefficient of either x or y in the two equations must be equal. So as you can see, the coefficient of x in equation 1 is 5 and in equation 2 is 15. So the coefficient of x in equation, the coefficient of y in equation 1 is negative 6 and here you have um, positive 8. So they are not uh, similar. So I need to make either the coefficient of x or the coefficient of y to be equal in the two equations. So what you need to do, anyone you are using, you have to exchange the coefficient and use it to multiply uh, each of the uh, equations, okay? So I want to balance x. So what I'll do, I'll write equation 1, which is 5x minus 6y equals to 24. So I'll multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of x in equation 2 which is 15 okay so i'll also write equation 2 that will be 15 x plus 8 y equals to 33 then i'll multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of x in equation 
one that is five okay so if i expand this and this i have my equations three and four respectively so let's expand the first one so 15 times 5x that will be 75x then minus 15 times um negative 6 uh, y that will be minus um 90y yes 90y and equals to 15 times 24 that will be 360 so we can call this equation 3 then let's expand this of course we should have 75x because 15 times 5x and 5 times 15x should give you 75x okay then uh, 5 times positive 8y that will be positive 40y then equals to 5 times 33 that should be 165 okay. so this is question 4 now you can now subtract okay so what will make this 2 to become 0 so it's by subtraction so I need to put minus here then I'll put minus here and I'll put minus here so of course this should be 0 so here I have minus 90y that is minus 90y minus positive 40y okay so this and this will combine together okay to become negative so it will be minus 90y minus 40y so this will be minus 130y so I can divide this into two so it will be minus 130y Okay, to be equals to if you come to this side 360 minus 165 that should give you 195 so y equals to 195 divided by uh, minus 130 okay so if you do this so this should give you negative 1.5 as the value of y so to get the value of x so you can easily substitute the value of y into equation one or equation two or equation three or equation four so you can substitute into any one so let's take um equation one that will be five x minus six y so instead of um y so i'll put negative 1.5 then equals to 24 that is equation one so you have five x so if you expand this okay so this will give you negative nine okay so a uh, positive nine rather so minus times minus that will be uh positive okay then six times 1.5 okay that will give you nine equals to 24 so if you um subtract nine here yeah? subtract nine here yeah? so this will be 5x okay this and this we cancel out to be equals to 15 okay so x equals to 15 divided by 5 that will be equals to 3 so x equals to 3 y equals to negative 1.5 so this is the end of my solution to question 2 in the next video i will solve question 3 until then, half your fingers crossed.